Hi, welcome to today's Talk of the Town. I'm Sandy Benson, and we have got a great show ahead, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. Branding your company is no longer just a simple sentence or catchy phrase or jingle. Businesses today must be savvy in the area of social media marketing. If you're anything like me, it sounds like a great idea, but who has the time? Joining us today, John Ontel, lead strategist for Niche Market Media, talks about the importance of blogging as a part of your online presence and how he can help your business. John, always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So, all right, what is a blog and what is blogging? Right, and uh, sometimes people, they, they get confused with that word, but a blog is simply a web log and blogging is putting content on your blog. That's it, <laughs> period. That is it. Okay, so for the feeble-minded, mm -hmm. um, a little bit more about why do, so, so you have this thing that goes on your website, so why do you do it? Yeah, you know, basically a blog should be uh, the foundation of your social media efforts. If you have something to, uh, to promote, something to write about, something to f help you be an authority of what you do in your business, you write about it. Okay, and then you post that on social media. And content should be your start on the blog. So, say I personally didn't write something, mm -hmm. but my industry, and this has happened to me many a times, sure. my industry posts certain, you know, really key, mm -hmm. cool things. So, if I post that, yes. take that and post that on my website, obviously there's no type of problem doing that? Yeah, what you want to do there, and that's a great, uh, and we'll get in, into that in a little bit about things to blog about. Okay. Uh, but if you've got something that's industry specific and you write a little excerpt about it and then put a link to it, now what you've done is provided helpful content. Okay. And now people want to follow you because they're looking to you as the trust agent. So I'm not copywriting anything either in that situation. No. What, like I said, you'd want to put a little excerpt and then you link to theirs. And once again, you are providing helpful content for your customers and readers. Okay. So what do our viewers, in order to succeed in blogging, really need to know? Sure. You know, um, so, but, you know why businesses need, need to blog is what you're, right. what you're trying to go that's with. Right. Sure. Exactly. Um, you're gonna, basically, you're branding yourself as an expert in your field. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. And, and you build trust. And there's a, a neat little equation. Helpful content equals trust. Trust equals leads, and leads equals sales. I like and that. And so, yeah, you set yourself apart from your competition. If someone else just has a basic website that's a box, and it's not dynamic, it's never updated, and your business has content, helpful content, uh, who do they think they're going to go with? Yeah, I you mean, I would, I would think absolutely sure. somebody who's, who's always showing that they're like almost the next step ahead in their industry. Absolutely, and you sharpen your sword. You know, when you or you have somebody create this content for you, you're, the ideas come from you or someone, uh, you can hire someone to do it, obviously, but you sharpen your sword and you can, you, you can uh, continually step your game up. It's pretty neat stuff. Yeah. And uh, it's a growing stream of organic traffic can come from this and uh, people people often ask you know and, and, I'll, and I'll get to that people often ask uh, you know what to blog about but if there is a term uh, or a keyword that people are looking for regarding your business you could do a blog post about it if it's uh, SEO with search engine optimization you do a blog post if it's uh, speakers or lighting or home theater you could do a blog post about it if people are searching for that term pretty neat stuff oh that's that's very interesting huh? right Pretty neat stuff. So it creates an avenue for them to get back to your website. Actually, if they, they're, they're Googling and they type in just a simple word like lighting, it could potentially bring them right back to your website. Absolutely. And that's what I always try to uh, create for, for clients is uh, almost bridges. If you've got a blog post, if you've got social media, you have all these different ways of connecting them to your authority website. Okay, got it. And then it. they can go and they read your other blog posts and they... They look, and if no one has it, if somebody else, if they're choosing between two, and this ha knows nothing, appears online to know nothing about it, and this business, wow, they know about lighting, they know about uh, search engine optimization, they know about several terms within whatever their specific niche is. Right. Uh, typically, they're going to go there. That's pretty cool. It's pretty neat stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, but, uh, you know, and I was going to give some tips yes. for, the, uh, for people. And uh, write about what you know. 
Makes sense, huh? <laughs> it's simple, you know, and yeah. uh, you, even though you may think, oh, who wants to know about it, for your industry, people want to know. And so make sure that you're just not, you're writing for the masses. And one topic per blog post. Okay. Okay. Um, not to make it create a whole lot of confusion or be discombobulated about an idea. Yes, you could have tips if it was uh, about blogging. We could have, uh, we, you know, the top ten tips for blogging, and you would write those. So that would be one example. Tips are great. That's a, like a, a top ten are awesome. Um, add an exciting or meaningful image. Uh, social media, specifically Facebook, is image driven. You know, like when you're going down the news feed, if you see mm -hmm. a neat image, you stop. So if you have an image there that's, that's uh, meaningful, exciting, or s slows them down a little bit, they can click on that or the link and go back to your website. So it's always important to have a, uh, a picture. You can also have video blog. If you have oh. a video about your business, like let's say that uh, you're on Talk of the Town <laughs> and uh, it was a neat thing about your business, you can make a blog post and embed this video on your, your blog. And next oh. thing you know, now you've got, you've got a, a, you know, a video there. Um, this is the neatest part, and this is what I like to do. I like to search Google terms. It's called Google uh, Keyword Terms. And what you do is you search that, and you can find out how many searches are for specific keyword terms. So if I find one that uh, that's, has a lot of search terms, and it also gives you the competition, I can choose to write a post about that cool. for my clients or, my, or myself. Cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, also, a big thing about blogging is encourage sharing on social media. So you have these little share buttons and you write the content and you put it on social media but you encourage others to uh, comment and share the content. John, you have just a, a plethora of information about this stuff and it's awesome. Um, so how do people get a hold of you? Because I know in my own business I just don't have the time to do it. So right. I need someone like you. Sure. How do I get a hold of you? Absolutely. Uh, you can reach me on my, on my cell phone. I'm giving it out. It's uh, 843-415-6611. My website is nichemarketmedia.net. I think it usually shows on the screen. Yes. And I'll be happy to talk to somebody. I, I love this stuff, and I love helping businesses. Yeah, you sure do. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Appreciate you. you coming on. Thank you. And we will be right back with Talk of the Town.